Welcome to Wellness Wednesdays, where I teach you how to live a healthier lifestyle. I'm Dr. Julio, and today I want to invite you to take the 10-day sugar-free challenge. Why in the world would you want to do that, you ask? Let's talk about what the research says. This year, there will be more deaths from obesity than starvation worldwide. In addition, more than a third of adults and a fifth of children are clinically obese. That's not just fat or overweight, but clinically obese. The obesity epidemic has increased threefold in 25 years. What is the cause of this epidemic? Is it laziness? Ignorance? No, it's an increase in sugar in our diet. It happened years ago with a change in our food supply from whole foods to processed foods. We hit a fat-free craze. Everything was either fat-free or low-fat, but it was extremely high in sugar. The food companies made fat the enemy. If you remove fat from food, it tastes pretty awful. So they had to replace the fat with sugar, and that's what's killing us. See, sugar is addictive. MRIs show that brain responds to sugar like it does to cocaine. 20 ounces of soda have 17 teaspoons of sugar. This will increase your blood sugar and will increase your sugar cravings. Artificial sweeteners are no better. They disrupt our taste perception and encourage taste buds to desire more sweets. So what do you want to do about it? Join me and take the fed up 10 day sugar free challenge. Cut sodas and sweetened beverages. Eat real, fresh, whole food, not processed foods with hidden sugars. Absolutely no artificial sweeteners. Cut out all flour products that turn into sugar in your body. The challenge is difficult, but well worth it. Sign up for the challenge at fedupmovie.com. And while you're at it, catch the movie Fed Up 2 in theaters now. If you need help in creating a food plan, questions about the challenge, or just want to get healthy, come see us. We're happy to help. For more information on this or any other health topic, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. I'm Dr. Julio, and remember to turn your illness into wellness.